Linda, today Robert Brewer's family said they know that he had problems with drugs and alcohol, but he didn't deserve to die in the grisly manner that he did. And they told us they believe one of his killers got off easy. What you did was wrong and no one on this earth deserves what happened to my son. Lynn Kalichi looked at the man who participated in killing her son and held nothing back. Brendan Lee Terry never met her eyes. He looked straight ahead as she told him he didn't have to do it. Robert Brewer was tortured, then sent to his death when he was burned alive. Brewer's body was found in a dumpster behind a Brandon medical office several months ago. Terry was one of five suspects, and today he agreed to a plea deal, which allowed him to escape the death penalty had he been convicted by a jury. I'll never be able to hear his voice and hear him say, I love you, Mama. Never again. So, no, I don't think it was fair. I understand, but I don't agree. Terry pleaded guilty to second degree murder and kidnapping and will not have to testify against the other suspects. Now, we also got a chance to speak with defense attorneys involved in this case. They told us they were, in fact, surprised by the state's offer, but it was one that benefited their client, so they took it. Reporting live in downtown this evening, Rebecca Medina, ABC Action News.